Co-group. The group and the co-group operators are actually the same operator. But by convention, the co-group operator is used when grouping multiple relations at the same time. 127 relations can be grouped at the same time. Co-group example. Assume a relation, EMP, with three fields, ID, DEPT, and income. And a second relation, DEPT, with two fields, DID and name. I am only going to refer to a subset of the data in the example on the visual. EMP has this data. There's a tuple that has a value of 1, 1, 12,000. A second tuple with values of 2, 1, 13,000. And a third tuple the values of 3, 2, 15,000. The relation DEPT has two tuples, one with a value of 1, comma, development, and the second with a value of 2, comma, marketing. Executing x equals cogroup EMP by DEPT and DEPT by the field DID would produce a tuple with a value of 1 and then a bag within there that has the tuple 1, 1, 12,000, a second tuple with values of 2, 1, 13,000, and a tuple with the values of 1, development. The second tuple would have a value of 2, comma, and then a bag, which contains two tuples, one with a value of 3, comma, 2, comma, 15,000, and the second with a value of 2, comma, marketing. For each. The for each operator allows you to create a new relation through projection. This new relation may have fewer fields or more fields than the original relation. There are two formats for this operator, one that works with a block and one that works with a nested block. Please continue with the next portion of Lesson 2.